Yo, what's up everyone? Welcome back. Today we're testing uh, some Historic. Fire's Invention was unbanned and rebalanced for Historic. It now, whoops, it now costs five mana, up for four mana. Still the same ability. So this is the ability that you may cast spells with mana value less than equal to the number of, number of lands you control without paying their mana cost. Um, so that's, so that's, that's obviously a very powerful thing. And it's gone up from four to five, which I think uh, means that we should be playing some ramp spells to help acce accelerate it so we can still play it on turn four. Uh, so if we are playing like Explorers and Growth Spirals to help us get to Fire's Invention uh, a little faster. Uh, we we're playing a Planeswalker build. So we're playing like things like Chandra, Teferi, uh, Narset, Sarkin, Nissa, Big Teferi, Tamiyo. We have creatures as in Golos because Golos is a good mana sink. Or uh, when, when Fire is out, Golos is just a good mana sink because we, we don't need mana. If, if, if we have fires out, uh, Kenrith, Kenrith, the Return King, is also a great mana sink. If we don't have fires out, if, if we have fires out, getting us life, drawing cards, and whatever, whatever, whatever else we need. I am playing Divine Purge. This card is sometimes hard to cast, but it is absolutely the, one of the best removal spells in Historic. Getting artifacts and, and creatures um, is very, <laughs> for three mana, essentially all of Historic is very powerful, so I am playing four of it. Uh, I, know it's, I know it's... Not the, easy, not the easiest spell to cast, but I've liked it a lot more than like Deafening Clarion or or whatnot. Especially the, the, the synth is like there's like green white, green white life gain decks in Historic that you know gave a bunch of life and you just quickly 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 grow out of like Anger of the Gods range. So our, our win cons are, are you know clearly Sark in the Mas Sark in the Masterless. Uh, Nissa is a great win con. Ultimate Ultimate Teferi is a good win con. Uh, Kenrith is a good win con. Chandra Ultimate is a good, good win con. We're also, we're also playing Fave Wishes. Because Fave Wishes with Fire's Invention allows us to wish for a card and then usually cast it depending on how many lands we have. So if Fire's, if fires out, we can wish and cast Granted and get something like, you know, Ugin, U Ultimatum. If, if a bunch of Planeswalkers have died, Genesis to put more into play. Fire's Torsion is just a good, great bullet. We have no black mana, but Fire's Torsion is good with uh, Fire's Invention. Uh, Farewell is an excellent way to get, get rid of everything that's on a Planeswalker. Uh, you know, great way to deal with artifacts and graveyards. Also, Conqueror's Death, just a great answer. Nice catch-all. Um, I originally was thinking maybe we should play, like, maybe won the Kami War. But I like that I like that Elspeth re reanimates a Planeswalker. And with, we have the Elder Spell for in case the opponent's playing a bunch of Planeswalkers. Or maybe we have, like, a, you know, Teferi or Narset left over. Then we get Elder Spell. And then we put all the counters on Chandra and then, you know, ultimate win the game or Teferi even. So. so, yeah, this is the deck. It's pretty sweet. We also have some synergies with uh, Fire's Invention uh, and Oath Teferi. If Oath Teferi is the second spell you cast, you can exile fires and then cast more spells and then kind of get around the only two spells per turn clause. Let's see. Let's see uh, how this one does. Obviously, I think the Go To Fires version is like the Cavalier version. Right. With the Cavalier of, uh, of Flames. And that's where I'm And that's why, that's, this is why I want to try this, this version. Because Narset kind of really hits on that, um, on the card draw. So if they're playing like Cavalier Flames, they're going to be able to draw that many cards. Um, I'm going to mulligan this. Okay, this is not that much better, but it's fine. It's better than what we had, at least. Plan would be great. Chandra here. Not on top land. Okay, now we just need a fifth land. Okay. 
I will purge this. Nice. Yeah, the next turn we have Chandra and Fairy. Oh. Fair enough. The fairy stops them like next turn be able to fairy stops <laughs> collecting company. So either they have Coco, we can then play Chandra afterwards and we can kill a creature, then bounce a creature, so they didn't know we had those in our hand, but that again, Divine Purge is one type of a magic card. Clear there there it wasn't much better than like Anger the Gods, but uh hitting that hitting that treasure. Not hitting treasure, but hitting hitting treasures or hitting like uh, Witch's Oven in other decks, or, uh... Um, there's, there's, there's also, like, artifact decks, like, blue-white artifacts, hitting their... Either even their, their treasure vault or their metal cysts is really good. Got me a bubble tea. Oh, we're on the draw. We have a growth spiral though, so it's not in the world. We can't really cast Narset yet. We can cast a fairy if we draw land. It's like more life gain stuff. Scary. They have like a either a land Coco into, into, into the combo or even just a voice a voice of the blessed. Get bad. Hopefully that this game doesn't come down to like be on the play burst, be on the draw. Sometimes, sometimes I wonder if I should be playing like a land in the sideboard. This is a way to Grab a land with the uh, Fey Wishes. Okay, they're playing on like Flash Creature or something. I know my responsibility. The warden. I had to bounce a war. I had to bounce a creature, otherwise, uh, otherwise they they, they kill kill the fairy. Like there was, I thought I bounced, I thought I bounced in a treasure token, but. Oh no, that's pretty good. This is hard. Good. My worst defeat. I know what must be done. Let's I get know to the what good must be part. Done. All right. So we can also wish for a six drop. We can get farewell. 
not sure if it was the best, best one to get though, because I want to keep my enchantments. The best one's gonna be Ugin. If I can like try to hold off until Ugin, that'd be great. But not able to wait. I'm gonna have to get very well now. I think I've hit enchantments too, so I'm gonna have to destroy my own fire's invention. Which kind of sucks, but. Oh wait, they have lethal. That, that is that combo? I guess Claire class acts like a heal yod. Ah oh man, I didn't even see that. I should have bounced Claire class then. Yeah, I should have bounced Claire class. I don't. I, I forgot that the uh, ad level. I, I, didn't, I didn't forget they leveled it. Honestly, I, I just forgot that this acts as a. Uh, Heliod ability. Like, I was waiting for Heliod, I didn't see Heliod. But this is basically just a, just a five mana Heliod. Right? Wait, is it knife and Damon? Am I wrong? Oh, it is, right? Because they get multiple life when they make, when they make a squirrel. Yeah, that's really cool. Yeah, that's my fault. I should have, should have won. That. I should have won this game. Um, I didn't realize that I could just, I could have literally just played fairy, and then tucked this, this one, right? And this turn they play out whatever they want to play out. And I can untap fairy wishes and farewell. That's my, that's my bad. Just forgot the, I forgot, I, forgot, I don't know. It's just blanked on cleric class, being a heliod for that combo. I was, I was, look, I was looking for a heliod like. If I had seen Heliod, I would have bounced it, but I didn't. I was too, too, zoned, too zoned in on Heliod, not realizing that the Claire class is literally just a Heliod number five through whatever, five through six. Mm. I don't know. I'm gonna draw again. I like to play. One point, please. please. Nice. Okay. We'll this card on our turn. I know 88 ways to hone your prowess. Thanks, Fairy. Put thoughtfulness before action. I can go longer. Stand by and watch. I've got time.
My mind needs a rest. My mind needs a rest. So they, they need uh, like a sanctum of all? Oh, what's sick. Nice. Goes nothing. This gains life. This makes a bunch of bunch of creatures. This does damage something. Hmm. I need one more land. What I need. That's mana. I think I'm gonna bounce this one. This one's kind of scary. We will meet. It. Don't worry. I got this. Another one where we can farewell. <clears throat> but farewelling destroys our stuff too, so we gotta. Yikes. Get as safely as possible. Well, I'm probably playing a cool deck though. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, oh, oh. Do seven. Seven be seven's really good because or eight's really good because of Ugin. Right. Right on schedule. I am not making this up as I go. Okay. Let's try this. Seek shelter in my stewardship. Rise, my elemental friend. Harness the elements. Reach. Perfect. Now we'll do again. Almost like this because we need eight, eight, eight lands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, I don't. I can just cast Ugin, right? Okay, well, this works too. Trust me, I have a plan. Let's see. Minus five? That was nice up two though. Hmm. the ground you walk on the land shall conquer you an opportunity to act rashly is the chance to fail that's more like it he's fine for actually Let me know if you're up for it, too. All creation can be undone. Do not ignore my draconic talents. Hmm. 
Do you have a wrath? No wrath. Okay. An interesting take on Storm the Festival. Storm the Festival. They're clear, clearly looking for, uh, um, what you call it, a sanctum of all. They just missed on it. Cool deck though. Cool deck. Cool deck. I approve. Nice jank. I go first. Oh my god, for once I go first? Crazy. Crazy. Alright. Hopefully he lands. Please. We can bait out counters with Fires of Adventure next turn. I'll cast Fires and counter it then. We have a backup one. Oh, I need to look oh, for land drop. Yeah, that's really cycle trick type in. Good game. Trust me. You'll thank good me. game. All right, just you know, cruising along. <laughs> Winning one two mana screw. To be fair, that could go either way. We could have like not found our lands either, but we did. We we're the greatest. We're professionals. And that's how you that's how you become a pro magic player. Wow, nice start. And this is why we played Divine Purge. Because if this is Anger of the Gods, we would do nothing. We generally do nothing, because that score is a 4-4 four -four already. Begin! 
<laughs> Must say purge uh, for next turn. See if I can get just a, little, a little more. Ah! Oh, tapioca. Bubble tea, but not that tapioca here. Oven. Big squirrel. Gonna ping for five. So I can hit things that attack it for one, because I have one dragon. I'll block. Listen to them roar! Listen to them roar. Gotta decide if they want to look for a card. Nope. Then just what, eat this food normally? Or are you trading off the tokens? So, going to Chandra. Let's and then we're going to Oath of the Fairy. Fires of Invention. We get more spells. I'll play land. I'll exile top card of my library. Oh, this Deal is damage. gonna hurt. Exile top card of my library. Oh, today's my lucky day. Deal damage. Purge. That's why we play Divine Purge. That is why we play Divine Purge instead of Anger of the Gods. Because that squirrel would have been out of reach <laughs> multiple times. And Divine Purge is hard to cast, but again, I'm, I'm glad I'm glad I'm able to showcase why I'm playing Purge, even though it's mana intensive. And sometimes you will struggle to cast it, but it is so crucial against these artifact artifact decks. Or or the, all these small creatures that, that become like four fours very quickly. It's very important. It's very important to be able to kill them. The anger won't do that, you know. And Doom Scar is just I don't know. Doom Scar just seems kind of like it's fine, but again, exiling is pretty huge. I'm just play this tapped. I don't want to shock, right? Because I can just. Explore this into play. Then play the beacon. Explore. Play the triome. The next time we can we have Chandra if we want. Chandra. Let's go. 
screw it. So... That's what they do, but there's merit to like killing the creature. Oh, this is a Neoform. This is not good. The combo deck, Fire's Invention, is not very good versus combo decks. That's for sure. Uh, I have no way to interact. That's outside of maybe to fairy or the captive creature, which they're not going to. Honestly, I think there's ramp here. Do it. Alright. It did it. Don't veto or anything, so. Yeah. How much, how much would. Fire's, fire's decks always lose the combo. We can't really beat combo decks. Without like playing the specific combo hit, like Graf Graphic's Cage. I haven't seen Neoform in a while. This fires makes us play at sorcery speed as well, so even, even if we have like an answer, you know, with Teferi or something, like plus Teferi, Divine Purge. That That's like probably the best way is, is to play Teferi and plus Teferi and Divine Purge, but. We also need to have not. We also need to have not have fires out. All right. It's a lot of. Uh... All right, a lot of, a lot of ramp. Kind of plan. I'm not sure if we have enough plans, but we'll see. Draw. I'm gonna draw a lot recently, but okay. This new form again? Okay. Oh, this new form again. Okay. Maybe. Maybe it's a new form again. I don't know. I'm not sure. Like, was this for Golos? No, they're playing Monograin. Probably like Nissa slash Ugin slash Karn deck. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. With the Cataracts probably for Golos on the sideboard from with Karn. We're probably, probably playing big mana deck. One, two, three, four, five, six.
go to fires and freeze the goose. Keep them from eight mana. Phyrexia's story infects the mind, becoming unforgettable. Phyrexia's story infects the mind, becoming unforgettable. You do not write this story. We have one, two, three, seven. Unfortunately, seven. Seven is, seven is for Genesis Ultimatum. Together, we will prevail. Together, we will prevail. The land fights for us. You cannot change the future. So much mana. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hmm. I can thought distortion. I might at least tame you in the process. Or I can also with Conqueror's death. I can just Genesis, Genesis Ultimate. I'm gonna try to try to race Nissa, but the problem with racing Nissa is like Nissa. Let me try that. Such an imperfect form. I mean, you get an oath fairy there. Um, I will protect the virtue of this world. I'll protect the virtue, virtue of this world. Behold, nature's true power. You try my patience. All right, so we have a castle next turn, and a trion. They have infinite mana, essentially. Rise, my elemental friend. I can make this a ten ten. Cycle this. Donk. All right, Mr. Goose. The goose is loose, as they say. Castle. Lands. I could now I gotta step on a castle on that upkeep. Or not. The reason not is because if we do draw an oath of Teferi. We may have cast more spells. Watch this take. I think maybe we still do it. So we will play to fairy first. They can't interact on our turn. Okay, I'm nice. known nice. for my excellent timing. Then we'll divine purge. Right. 
less here. Behold nature's true power. Behold nature's true power. And bounce the fires. This might be a bad idea. Play Marsa. Mind and body should move in. I have just the trick for this. This one. Looks like both of them, but. I am in need of rest. Do not write this story. All right. No Ugin. Six, seven, eight. This is the Ugin. We can kill it with the Trium. That's fine. It's definitely not Ugin. Oh no. Each player chooses an artifact creature, sacrifices the rest, right? Choose, choose an artifact. Oh, new. No. New. No. Keep Tamio. She's an artifact creature and enchantment and a planeswalker. We are all connected. Become part of the next chapter. The land fights for us. The land fights for us. Alright, so I'm saving these because I'm going to discard both of these to potentially Fave Wishes. Uh, next turn I can bring back Elspeth. Not Elspeth, Tamio. And Tamio can bring back. Elspeth, Elspeth Hunger's Death. But. We can kill them. Chikimasa. Apparently that means we will all be one in, in the Frexium. You see the no? You see the no? A little lore for you. A little lore for you. Alright, they have crisis. Our will cannot be denied. Be wary of the ground you walk on. Okay. I'll have to push these two. Okay, wishes. We win. There's, there's auto passing. Okay. 
such an imperfect form. The land shall conquer you. If, 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 if we didn't win there, we could have bounced Fave Wishes and cast a bunch of spells. Ugin. Or Eerie e e Ultimatum. Not a, not a bunch, but enough. Eerie would have got back a lot, though. Eerie got it back. Elspeth, Narset, Teferi. And two lands. It's not maybe not crazy, but not bad either. Nice. Sweet. That was like sweet too. I feel like they kinda They found the ramp, but they just found the payoff a little too late. We were, we were able to kinda stop stop them from going off. It was scary there for a second though when they, when they resolved Nissa, so it was a bit scary. There you go, chat. Awesome, thanks for hanging out. Uh, this deck is actually pretty good. I, I enjoyed it. Definitely a good shell to start with. Again, I enjoy the Grow Spiral Explore package. I don't want to play too many. I've seen some decks playing like four Explore, four Grow Spiral, and like three or four Cultivates, and it's like if you don't, if, if you run that much ramp and Fire's Invention, you're basically running like because you think about it, Explore is ramp. So you have four four Explorers, you have four Grow Spirals, you already have eight. You play like three or four Cultivates, that's twelve. The Fire's Invention, Fire's Invention is also a ramp spell. Uh, it's like, so, so basically, I have like sixteen. If sixteen, um, oops, sorry. Ramp spells, which is a bit much, a bit too much, I think. Uh, the only way that that you can justify running that many ramp spells is you have to be running like things like a Cavalier of, of Flames, just some way to loot, some way, some way to loot your hand away. Otherwise, it's just not worth it. This and this is why we're running like only only six six ramp spells, uh, and then so we, so we so we have a lot more gas going on here. Yeah, awesome. Thank you for hanging out. Thank you for. Check, you know, clicking and if you shop at coolstuffing.com, you just use code Ollie 5 save 5% off your entire order. If you want to see more, more of my decks, I uh, also have my, my personal YouTube channel over, over at youtube.com slash Eldrazi. And I stream live over at twitch.tv slash Eldrazi. All right, thanks, thank, thanks so much. Thanks for hanging out. I'll see you all next time. All right, bye.